Hi, my name is Dan Schessel, and you are watching Off the Shelf, where each and every week we are reviewing a bunch of comics right here on YouTube. We try to keep these as spoiler free as possible and as kid friendly as possible as well. So, without any, with all that out of the way, let's get going with this. So this review is going to be for Green Lantern number 20. So for this one, we have a massive like anniversary edition uh, issue. We also have the last edition issue that Jeff Johns is going to be writing for Green Lantern. And it's, it's really kind of a, a, a sad day because he's done so much for the Green Lantern franchise that it's it's really hard to see him you know leave and you know he's going to be going to JLA Justice League of America and be taking over on that book so it's it's really it's it's kind of a hard one to take uh but with this book here we have a like a thicker binding on it and we have a massive price tag on there as well it's like eight dollars and but is this comic really worth the eight dollar price tag uh even though it's it's this huge book it's the last one that jeff johns is writing it's this anniversary issue is it really worth it is the story inside really worth it so for this issue we have this beautiful layout we have each and every page where it is absolutely gorgeous very detailed there is a few spots in this book where it's really kind of a, a flat and it, it didn't really, you know, pop or whatever it was. Um, you could tell it was probably just a little bit rushed in that those sections. But the, you when he put his details in, you could tell. He really spent a lot of time and a lot of effort trying to make this issue what it is. And... It's basically their last hurrah, right? So it's kind of nice to see them put their whole heart and soul into this book. Uh, this is also going to bring me into my first fault for this book. And that is the binding. Now, you could tell that this book was made to be stapled uh, as a normal, regular book. Because a lot of the stuff is tucked right into where the binding is. And there's a few sections where you have to really crank open the book just to read what's in there in that those sections. And there's a few times where you you got cut off halfway through a page and it didn't quite line up with the next page over. And so that is as as minor as it may be in the end, I could still read the book. I just I didn't really want I, I like flipping open the book and laying it flat and having that feel to it. This one is more of a trade kind of a deal. And sometimes you just lose that. And it was, you could tell that this was made and drawn and, and specifically for uh, a lay flat book. But as a whole, I still love this issue. I still loved the the art in here. I love how they've managed to pack a huge epic tale here. Uh, I do, however, question the method um, which the story was told, and not so much the first half of the book, uh, just more closer to the ending of it. Uh, obviously, I don't want to give away too much of what happened during this book, uh, but he really closed off a lot of endings for a lot of the characters that are here um i really didn't want to know what's ha gonna happen in the future for all these characters i kind of like to you know discover that as i'm reading new books and seeing how things develop i don't like you know here's here's what's gonna happen it's it was just not my my cup of tea i guess um, a lot of them, you know, all just these happily ever after kind of stories. I, I didn't really, 
I didn't really like that whole part. Uh, the whole first Lantern thing really never got me. Uh, don't get me wrong, this book, um, you know, I love, don't get me wrong, I love this book. I'm just not a fan of the first Lantern bit. Uh, he really didn't scare me. I, I can understand he's like this hugely powerful being in this universe and is taking everybody um, and they, they you know, Jeff Johns brings in his whole Lantern course from every corner of the universe and brings them all into one place to try and take them on and you know it takes pretty much everybody and everything that they have to take him out so i i i understand what he did and how he did it and i i completely agree that's fantastic i just i didn't think that the first lantern was all that scary of a character he never really did anything other than destroy uh, Sinestro's home planet. Uh, it just, it, he never really got me. He never really, I just never got him as a, as a character. That's pretty much all I can say about that. Overall, uh, if you've been reading Green Lantern, at all, you really owe, owe it to yourself to just go pick this book up. I mean, if you've been a fan from a long time ago and, you know, you haven't been reading it for the last little while, go pick this book up. There's so much here that it, it really just holds you by the hand and it goes, it walks you right through it. And it starts basically right from, you know, all the, the big main events of that's happened over the last, you know, number of years and really culminates it into this book. And I, I really like that about this. So, I mean, really, even if you're a first-time Green Lantern reader, you can pick this book up, understand kind of where it's going and what's happening, and get right into it. Because it's it's that simple of a book. I, I love the exposure to the all the other Lantern Corps. I I thought that was a fantastic way to bring everybody in there. Uh, the downsides for me, of course, is the binding. Uh, you know, you lose a lot of stuff that's in there. The first Lantern was kind of a strange bit for me. I, I wasn't a huge fan of that. I am going to give this book a 5 out of 5. And actually, I'm going to give it the pick of the week. Because you know what? I, I just basically can recommend this to anybody. And it, it was a fantastic read, a fantastic book. Uh, I, I know there's the, that $8 price tag and not everybody out there can afford $8 for a comic all the time. But you know what? This is a very special edition. It's very, you know, uh, it's different, it's unique. And it's definitely well worth checking it out. I... I the eight dollar price take is is just worth the price of admission, uh, and I have to say, you know, Jeff, you're you're gonna be sadly missed in the Green Lantern universe. Uh, I love his work throughout the years, and it's been fantastic. And what more can you say? So that was for Green Lantern number twenty. So I want to thank everybody out there for watching these videos. You can go and check out any of my other comics that I got right here. And you can click on these if you have the annotations uh, on your YouTube on. And you can click on them and you can go and check out those reviews. And uh, yeah, they're pretty fantastic. All right, so let's get that out of the way. Uh, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. You know subscribe to my channel it's just somewhere down below there or in this corner i think it's that corner so go and click on that one or in this one i can't remember which one it is and that's it that's all thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one